Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I promised you guys I was going to compare some of the Fenty stuff to some more popular products. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be comparing the Fenty concealer to the Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm going to be comparing the Fenty powders to the Huda Beauty powder and the Laura Mercier powder. So if you want to see all of that, then keep on watching. But before we get into the video, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me and follow me on Instagram which I'll link right down below. Okay, so I know you guys wanted me to compare the Fenty concealer to a lot of concealers but after using it, I felt like it had the most similar coverage and formula to the NARS Radiance Creamy Concealer which I really like, it's one of my favorite concealers. So that's why I decided to compare both of them today. I'm also comparing the Fenty Hazelnut Powder which is my skin tone shade to the the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Balm Powder which is also my skin tone shade and I'm comparing the Fenty Banana Powder which is not actually a yellow powder to the Laura Mercier Original Translucent like the whitish looking one so that's what this video is going to be about I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the demo so I'm going to apply the Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer to one side of my face and I'm going to apply the Fenty Concealer to the other side of my face this is the shade 390 Okay, so 390 is very clearly brighter than a mand, but it does dry down to a, a darker shade. So I'm going to use a sponge. I'm starting with the NARS. And I'm going to flip the sponge over and use the other side to blend out the Fenty. Okay, so as you guys can see, the Fenty does dry down to a less bright shade 390 is clearly brighter than a man but i'm just going to go with it um i'm more concerned about the formula and the wear time and the coverage than the shades so so far i would say that the coverage looks pretty similar um before setting both sides of my eye look radiant both concealers have a very similar consistency they are both kind of watery compared to the other concealers that i use and i'm going to move on to my next comparison you guys wanted me to compare the fenty powders to the laura mercier powder this is a sample size of laura mercier translucent um it's like the regular white one because i can't find my medium deep and this is the fenty banana powder i don't know if it's apparent on camera but you guys can see banana is a darker beige than the laura mercier translucent powder Okay, so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier to set the side with the NARS just because I already know how both products work and I feel like the Fenty products will work better with each other. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty powder to set the side with the Fenty concealer. Okay, so, so far I feel like Laura Mercier is more translucent as far as like using these powders to bake or like pressing them into your skin. I prefer Laura Mercier for my under eyes. I also prefer Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower for my under eyes. I just don't like how these Fenty powders look and feel under my eyes. I know I said that in the last video and many people were offended. I'm going to let that sit for a little while. So the final comparison for the day will be the Fenty Hazelnut Powder which is my skin tone all over powder and the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bond Powder which is my skin tone all over powder in Huda. So I'm starting with the Fenty. I really like the Fenty one because it's like a nice golden undertone. What's happening here? Okay, so I really appreciate that both powders have a stopper that you can put in the powders to prevent the powders from getting everywhere. If you watch my Fenty review, you saw me demonstrate that. So let's talk about the powders themselves. This is Fenty Hazelnut and this is Huda Cinnamon Bun. Hazelnut is more golden, Cinnamon Bun is more neutral. So on this side of my face, which has the Fenty Concealer and the Fenty Banana Powder, I'm applying the Fenty Hazelnut Powder. I'm going to take some of that and go over the banana powder. So, as you guys can see, I feel like the Fenty banana powder is just not really great for baking. To be fair, they did not say to use it for baking, but I can just see a clear demarcation where I baked. But hopefully, by the time I apply my setting powder, it should be fine. I'm going to use another powder brush to apply my good ass cinnamon bun. And I really can't tell any difference in undertones now that I've applied them between the two powders. So if you use Huda Cinnamon Bun as an all-over powder, Fenty's Hazelnut should be fine for you. Because it looks quite fine to me. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, I don't know what you're seeing on camera, but in person, the side with the Laura Messier Transcendent Medium Deep looks more natural because the Laura Messier, why do I keep saying Transcendent Medium Deep? The Laura Messier powder is more translucent for under eye baking than the Fenty powder. I don't think the Fenty powder was meant for baking. I don't like this for my under eye. It's not a bad powder, but there's just so many other powders I prefer for my under eye. For the rest of my face, I love hazelnut and I also really like Huda's cinnamon bun so i'm going to go about the rest of my day and i'll come back to show you guys what this makeup is looking like at the end of the day hey guys okay so this is what i look like at the end of the day i feel like the side with the fenty powders um looks a little bit more oily than the side with the huda powder and the Laura Mercier powder i also feel like i don't like the fenty banana powder i don't like the color and the formula is all right, but I just don't like the color. If they had made one in yellow, I would have really liked it. Yeah, so that's pretty much my opinion on it. The two concealers, in my opinion, have the same formula, same coverage, same wear time. So I hope you guys found this comparison helpful. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you wanted to know that I didn't say, ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.